gentlemen, and welcome back again for another episode of Jump Rap's PH. And for today's project, I'm going to make Peacemaker's Helmet from the movie The Suicide Squad. But before we start, please visit and follow us on our social media accounts like Facebook page and Instagram, Jump Rap's PH. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing that I did was take the foam tube in place at the top of the head model. Then I secured it with tape, then followed by covering with aluminum foil and more tapes. I almost covered the head entirely, just fully avoid the foam tube to pop off. You can also start getting the right shape, especially on the top part of the head. Make sure you have a good reference picture and start drawing some outlines. If you're done, remove a bit of the head model and plan how will you cut your templates. Just make sure to cut the curves and flatten it on the surface. You may also add more markings so that when you glue it together, you won't be confused. This time you'll see me cutting the outlines that I drew. It helps me to create my templates a bit cleaner and avoiding many lined marks when you glue them together at one piece. For this part, I already traced and cut it out of paper and I'm gonna be tracing it on a foam. You can also see that I drew some markings just to avoid confusion when attaching. You may now start cutting your foam piece by piece. You may also practice different kinds of cuts like inward cut, outward, and straight cut. This technique will help you to know what part of your project will have edges like eyebrows, chin, and etc. The first one that I'm going to glue will be the top part of the head or the tube-like design. I mostly used inward cut here, except for the middle part. I just cut it with a straight cut. The reason is to avoid it from getting too edgy. Continue building it and be careful when using super glue because it has fumes that might hurt your eyes. And remember to be patient when building this curved-like or tube-like shape. This tube-like design has two parts, the front and the back. You can always adjust it. You may cut some of its parts just to make it a bit thinner. For the second phase of the project, start gluing the front face of the helmet. It's kinda easy because it doesn't have a lot of detailing. After doing the front face, start gluing the back and just follow the curves and be careful when gluing. I cut the inside of the eyebrow part with inward cut and for the outside, I used outward cut for the top and inward cut for the lower part of the eye part. Just follow the arrows where it's pointing. Now that the pieces are completely glued, it's time to attach them all together. I started gluing the front face and also don't forget which side of the tube like designs is the front. Do the same thing at the back and later you may do some test fitting. Start gluing the back piece at the tube-like design. I'm going to call it the tube-like design. <laughs> and I did cut the edges at the front and back with outward cut. Time to test feature helmet. I must say I kinda have a huge amount of space from the inside and at the back due to the tube-like design. That's why I'm going to reduce it using um, cutters and going to remove the extra part of the middle of the tube-like design. I chose to remove the middle part at the back side of the helmet and start gluing it again. I 
As you can see, there's a little bit extra foam at the ear area since we made some adjustments and just get it out straight. You can also adjust the nose area just to give some expression. You can also add more designs like lined marks and now that we're almost finished, don't forget to add the bird and the pentagon shape at the top of the forehead. I also used a sandpaper to smoothen the dried super glue. It's pre-paint time, you know the drill. I used a Elmer's glue before painting and I let it dry and paint it with a primer gray followed by a silver spray paint. For the last touch, I painted with a chrome spray paint just to give it a life. I did try to use a clear spray but it doesn't work out because it's dulling the chrome. Just let it dry and add some line details and spray it again. And suit up, you're now ready to serve Amanda Water. Go go go, peacemaker! Again guys, another project has been done and I hope you got some simple tips and ideas on how to create pacemakers helmets. And I must say my head is a little bit bigger than my brother's, that's why it doesn't really fit well. But here we go. So if you do like my videos, please hit that like, share and subscribe button and notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you.